Hello YouTubers, welcome to Destination Lego. So again, I thought I'd share with you ahead of me building this set, which I'm really looking forward to, so I can extend my ever-growing uh, Lego train, uh, track and sets, um, which is awesome, isn't it, Ethan? Well, say something, they can't yes. see you nodding your head. Yes, I've got Ethan with me. Um, just watching me do this video. So what we're going to do, we're going to get this um, Lego City passenger train um, open up, just show you what's in the box, bags, etc. What comes in it, give you a quick tour around the box itself uh, for those of you that are interested. And once I've got it all set up um, with my current cra uh, train track, I'll see what it's like um, in motion um, going around the track. So this is set zero, sorry, 60051 and it is the high speed passenger train. Um, obviously the Lego City theme. This was released in 2014, um, it's now 2015 um, at the point of recording this. Uh, retails here in the UK for £99.99 99 um, and in the United States I believe for $149.99. Sense comes with 610 pieces uh, and three minifigures and it obviously is a power function set um, which we can see down here on the front of this box. So let's take a look around the box first and then we'll have a look what comes inside the box. So first off we get to see a really good picture of the high speed passenger train on the front itself. This little kind of platform station area here um, obviously comes with some little map. Um, that shows you the network. Um, down the bottom here, we can see the track. So it comes with four pieces of straight track and 16 pieces of curved track. Um, and then there we can see the remote control um, function for the power function, obviously, to make the train move. We spin round to the rear. Um, at the rear of the set, we get to see um, some more views um, of the train and indeed the internal of the train um, itself. Uh, down the bottom here, I'm just bring that up, you can see there the power functions that come in the set. Um, here actually we can see that you can combine it with um, the same year's themes which is the cargo train set which I've already got. Here it is. Oh yeah, we'll have a look at that shot in a minute. The cargo train, the train station and the uh, tracks and the points uh, tracks as well. And if we have a look over at some of the pictures, see some of the features, obviously you can lift the roof off there, that's to get to the interior. Um, we have a level crossing in this particular set, which is pretty cool. Um, some lights there, obviously to show you when the train's coming or not. A uh, minifiggy on his bicycle. Um, some shots there, we've obviously got the conductor and that's going to be one of the passengers um, inside the train. Uh, again, shot there of the conductor. There we have a shot of the um, station platform um, outside there, um, some seats obviously holding a bit of luggage um, and there another shot of the passenger train and then there a bit of a Lego city going on um, so we can see the cargo train there and indeed the high speed passenger train there um, going above it and there's the uh, train station um, here in this shot. If we look on around the edges, there we can see a picture of the train again. Right, again on that side, keep spinning that round, just some detail on that one. And then, whoa, we flip it over to the other side. Again, quite a good shot there of the passenger train. Um, and there we see the minifigure in scale, one to one scale. So that's pretty much is it for the box. Okay, so next up, we are gonna break the seals. One there at the top and one down here at the bottom. Let's break those seals so that we can get into this. And take a look at what's inside. Here's the top and the bottom seal broken. Quite a big box. Um, wow, and it's jam-packed of Lego, as you can see there. So let's just get this. Tip it all out. So now we have an empty box for the box at the back. Okay, so what I'll do is just get this mess sorted out and I'll be right back. Okay, and there we go, there is everything laid out in front. So first of all, we have the curved train tracks all kept together. You have these little pins, um, for those that don't know, 
which is these here, um, and you can just pull these apart, but they hold them together well. So we've got obviously four sets of four, so that's the 16 curved train tracks. We have an unnumbered bag, um, where you've got the front section of either end of the train, um, some of the um, undercarriage um, areas of the train. We have the straight pieces of track in there, the four pieces of straight track in there, and a few other pieces in there as well. Uh, we have a box, now this will have the power functions. So if I open that up in there, you're gonna see, well, there's the magnets. Um, and you can see there's some of the power functions and down at the bottom here will be the remote control. So I'm not gonna get that out because this is only kind of the unboxing of the main set. So that's the power functions. We have our instruction manual and sticker sheet, and I'll get that out in a second just to show you that. And then we have seven lots of number bags. So there we can see starting with bag number one, all the way through to bag number seven. So seven number bags, and obviously this bag as well. So that's a total of eight bags um, and the power function. So I'll get this instruction uh, instruction manuals out and we'll take a look at those along with the sticker sheets. Okay, so we have the instructions out in the sticker sheet. So if we just have a quick look at the sticker sheet, as you can see there, so quite a lot of stickers, a lot of small stickers as well. Uh, which you can see there, there's that network map. And these are obviously gonna be for the side of the high-speed passenger train itself. So like I said, quite a few stickers. Um, we've then got, our instruction manual, so we have got a total of four instruction manuals, so let's just go for each one of those quickly. So instruction manual one is obviously going to be the um, train platform, um, that's what's built there. Again, just some information, that's just going to take you through to is that the end, yeah, there's the end there, so 25 pages to get to that stage. A uh, bit of information in the back of the first instruction manual, so that's number one. Number two um, then builds what looks like, um, well it's one of the ends, front section or rear section, um, of the high speed passenger train and obviously the conductor minifigure. I've uh, got some of the Lego City Arctic sets there on the rear. Uh, power functions. Some information there about the power functions. This is obviously going to be um, the set that has the power function in by the looks of it. Okay, so get through to 67 pages to get to that. Uh, we've then got some track configuration, so you can obviously use it straight away there, just for that front front section, get the track built, and you can show it like that then shows the cyber configurations if you add some of these sets together like down there that's with the cargo train you can build that um, add another set um, of track um, and again we just have some pictures there a bit of a lego city going on and some of the lego city sets there so that's number two number three then builds the middle carriage um, again, so it looks like we're using bags four and five to build the middle carriage. That takes us through to 39, so 39 pages. Um, that's it for instruction manual three. Um, and then finally, instruction manual four. So I guess we can kind of guess this is going to be the rear uh, section of the train. Um, bags six and seven um, to build that. And that takes us through. 61 pages um, to get that built. We then have the Lego inventory piece count. Um, in fact, that's it. Another page there, and then just another Lego City. This is obviously the fire um, range there for that. So that's the four instruction manuals. So there we go there, my fellow YouTubers. So that is my unboxing of this set 60051, the high speed passenger train completed hopefully you didn't find this informative if you did please don't go ahead and hit that like button and give me the big thumbs up let me know if you've got this set and what you think of it let me know indeed if you've got a, a lego um city or a lego city train set um, and if you have what sort of trains you've got on your train set and how long it is and indeed if you're another youtuber let me know and i'll go and have a look 
or indeed even if you're Instagram um, or other social media let me know and I'll go and have a look on there as well. Um, at that point if you look down in the description you'll see links to my other social media and my Bricklink store as well. Along with that any other comments, questions or feedback always welcome down in that comments section. And if you haven't done so already please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel Destination Lego and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers! Bye for now everyone! Bye!